six feet two in the Fiat in a compact and the thing and the seats go way better. All right. All right. Let's go right now. Let's go right. Solo Deezy. New hairdo Deezy. Ain't gonna flex it like that. We got the death battle. You feel me? I'm a little late. I'm pretty sure I'm late. Let's see how late I am. Um, hmm. Let's see how late I am. This episode uh -huh. I don't know how late I am. Just know I'm late. You feel me? Magneto versus some big head nigga named Tetsu. I don't know, bro. You know? Can't go wrong with another death battle. Can't go wrong. Wait, let me get in position. Can't go wrong with another death battle. All right, let's go. Hey, yo, new mic, new mic, new mic. Hey, 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 is my mic sounding crisp? Is my mic sounding crisp? I really can't yell like that. Oh, wait. Oh, uh, what the hell is this? We good now. Magneto versus Tet Tetsu. I don't know. I know about Magneto because that nigga be fringing metal with everywhere and shit. But I don't know who this Tetsu dude is. I have no idea who Tetsu is. Magneto, Marvel's mm -hmm. mutant master of magnetism. Indeed, big man, big man, you know. Akira's telekinetic terror of Neo Tokyo. These two. Yeah, Neo Tokyo, never heard of it. Revolution, not just in the already, world, already, but already, the already. They exist within. He's wears an iron boomstick, and it's our job to analyze. Yeah, I already got Magneto going stupid. Who would win a death battle? Yeah, already got Magneto going stupid. This big-headed ass anime villain. What is do this? Of modern civilization. Likely no conflict Talk to me. humanity more Talk to me. than the Second World War. In the primary Marvel 616 universe, this fact is no different, especially to the Eisenhart family and their only son. You may know him as Magnus, Eric, or Max, but if you ask him, he'd say his true name is Magneto. Big as Magneto, man. 62190. Well, Good, good stature, good build, good build. Dislikes the discriminations, Nazis, wooden guns. Thanks to his unexpected mutation called the Hellfire Cub. The Mark Wait, what? Super Ain't that from Stranger Things? After settling down in Russia with his new family, the KGB quickly found out about this quirk. So they burned his house down with his own daughter inside. Snapped Damn. Away, he snapped and killed them all. I don't blame him. I'd do that too. Too bad his wife didn't get it and ditched him though. But that's when Magneto made a choice. Since humans hurt him his entire life, he'd do the same to them in the name of mutants everywhere. At first, Magneto turned to the telepathic powerhouse Charles Xavier and his fledgling. Yes, sir, big Xavier. Big Xavier. But his new friend wasn't thrilled with the idea of uh subjugating the human race. So Magneto formed his own team of mutants, the Brotherhood. Magneto can telekinetically move. The brotherhood was crazy. Shape any metal he's aware of. Bullets, vehicles, buildings, you name it. Even himself when he manipulates his personal magnetic field for flight and energy barriers. Magnetic kinesis is far more That sounds like Mickey Mouse. Workers. The fuck? The blood in your body. He basically said he's making fly now. Hair has traces of lead. Magneto typically keeps his barriers in place at all times during combat even while using his powers. Himself is surrounded by a literal magnetic field. So many toys yeah. for Maggie to play with. He can detect magnetic fields at such a huge range. He can even pinpoint Earth's magnetic rays while stranded on a planet in another galaxy. And guess what? He was able to use those okay. rays to pull himself back to Earth in a single day. His range is even more remarkable than that. Did you know that in 1820, physicist Hans no. Orsted discovered that I already, I already like tell you no, I did not know this. Produce their own magnetic fields. Magneto can fine tune his control to affect these very subatomic particles dummy here will illustrate such a particle with positively charged protons and negative electrons <sighs> you talking like science class what the fuck as an atom is small so what you're saying is you talking about electrons like protons neutrons them. correct potentially changing an atom's entire chemical makeup however neutrons do not have a charge and without the ability to adjust yeah, those facts. to accommodate the neutrons are neutral mass, the atom would become unstable and finally the fuck? So start Where are they going with this, man? How many nigga uses the fight? Dude, so he just gonna blow relax. up atoms and shit? Magneto's violent protest against humankind clashed with Xavier's peaceful reconciliation. Not unlike the ideologies taught by Malcolm X and Dr. King, by whom Stan Lee and Jack Kirby were inspired. 
Magneto would spend most of his career pushing Xavier away to prove his philosophies superior, which meant doing battle with Xavier's school of thought, quite literally. And Baldi's mind powers are no joke, but thanks to Magneto's psionic repelling helmet, helmet, helmet in his most effective tool for sure. Okay, Cyclops he got a Mickey Mouse lasers, helmet, basically. Absorbed the power of the sun to battle Iron Man, ripped the adamantium skeleton out of Wolverine's body, and even taken on Hercules himself. You know, the Greek legend, Zero to Hero, think... the guy who held up the skies of Olympus for Atlas? That Hercules. Seems sensible. Magneto once used the Earth. How the hell was he fighting Hercules? Phoenix, Did that happen? Which can effortlessly destroy planets. While the Phoenix full powers for the Hell, well, if he really wanted to, Magneto could totally just fling the Earth off its axis. It's entirely possible he may have eventually resorted to just that. Over time, it became clear Magneto's war was doing far more harm than good for his fellow mutants, however well intentioned he may have been at first. Luckily, he later realized he was going a bit overboard and began reevaluating his perspective. Good for you, Mags. It's really tough to recognize when you're the Betty. It took time and patience, not just from Magneto, but also from his peers. Yet eventually, his path was completely changed. He even became a leader for Xavier's X Men. But don't let his new wow, he got good. Fool you. Didn't see that a coming. To mutants, you can bet Magneto will be there to annihilate it forever by any means necessary. Yeah, so basically, I got Magneto. The fuck? Like this man yeah, tilting the earth on the axis? No, Fred. Let me see what this Tetsu dude about. Let me see what this Tetsu over Tetsu dude about. years ago, a new type of bomb was set off over Tokyo, and nine hours later began the Third World War. Welcome to Damn. 2030, or 2019 if you're watching the anime. The buildings are taller, the motorcycles are cooler, and the future is brighter. Oh, wait, not really. If you find yourself in the capsule gang, you'll meet Shotaro Kaneda, who's like your textbook anime Chad. Gets the ladies, beats the baddies, and cops the sweetest rigs. Man, I need to get me one of those. And then there's the little brother of the group, Kaneda's best friend, Tetsuo Shima. He's Tetsuo Shima, big well, forehead ass. Exact opposite. Big forehead ass. As a kid, Tetsuo in his college. Five four, four one oh one oh three. Damn. Hate to see it. That's until Big Bro Canada came to the rescue. Eventually, the two went to vocational school together and formed the Capsules. But Tetsuo was never satisfied with Canada being the leader of the pack. Tetsuo desired more than anything to be top dog. <laughs> oh, I can just see that mm. boogie's paw curling in my mind. Or that kid walking down the street. Shit, that's what I want to do. We run. Shit. Yeah, that damn. Definitely should have killed him. But since it didn't, Tetsuo earned himself a ticket to military confinement. Turns out they had an under-the-table program for developing child super weapons. In the same what program the that backfired and jump-started the war, Tetsuo became Japan's What the hell type of anime is this? He may not have been a natural with bikes, baddies, or babes, but this telekinesis stuff hit What the different. fuck? He walked out of that hospital ward effortlessly flying, reading minds, and blending people into strawberry jelly. Tetsuo got what he wanted. Power, along with the hunger for more of it. A hunger that used to only be satiated with drugs. And not just any gateway drug. Pills so potent that a single gram of the stuff could kill you. So, pretty bad. Kinda reminds me of Kyle. I ain't gonna lie, that's all a badass. No, that's all a badass, I ain't gonna lie. main ability is his constantly increasing psionic energy, growing more and more powerful over time. This is due to Tetsuo's link to, quote, the memories of the universe, end quote. It's the memory of an way, entire Tetsuo universe? Aspire to take advantage of fully created by the Big Bang? Telekinesis can shake the planet, easily cause earthquakes over a dozen miles below the surface. I mean, Magneto, Magneto can do that shit, right? Magneto can do that shit, right? Freaking gravity wells. He can dart around as a literal bolt of lightning or even teleport in an instant. Tetsuo's telekinesis can be so precise he can target and obliterate specific parts of the what body. What the fuck? He can heal severe wounds quickly, but even after losing a whole limb, he can craft a new one using whatever what the fuck? he wants. With these powers, Top Dog Canada didn't matter anymore. Who needed his approval? Tetsuo tasted that good shit and he was hooked. And when he found out another expert named Akira could deal him even more power, he rampaged through Tokyo to find him. And this is where versions of the story okay. differ. Ahem, boilers ahoy! You may be familiar with the 1988 animation, 
where Akira had been dissected for research. However, in the original manga, Akira is not only alive, but even more powerful. Once that little runt nuked Tokyo, Tetsuo would erect the Great Tokyo Empire with Akira and himself as its leaders. But he ended up just abusing the position for endless sex and inflating his ego. Endless when sex? Kamina's rebellion at his what? front door, Tetsuo took a turn for the worse. He had to fight. I love getting spoiled like shit right now, but I'm probably never gonna watch this. Light speed lasers Maybe. I don't know. The moon faster than anyone could blink, and then punched a big old hole in it. And if you ask, Boomerstick, wouldn't that mess up gravity on Earth? You You're not gonna right lie. Tetsu totally looking kind of OP, bro. I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna switch. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna switch. I never heard this nigga before, but this nigga look OP. His abuse of his power Given a small crater Tetsu left on the ground, he did not teleport to the moon. He might have, must have traveled there in about 13 milliseconds. The average image, the average image processing human speed for a human. Until he lost control. Unfortunately for Kanada's rebellion, this did not make Tetsuo an easier enemy to confront. Exactly opposite, in fact, has Tetsuo painfully mutated into an unstoppable oh. behemoth. Yep. Totally disturbing at all. I'm happy to say the manga's version is even more disturbing. I mean, I know babies can be monsters, but that's a whole nother level. It is pain incarnate. I can relate. Another expert described Tetsuo's struggle as ego death, which has multiple definitions, but in this case is likely symbolic of the version attributed to drug use. Yeah, it's described as a drug, man. Of Stay off the drugs. Identity, like Stay off the drugs. Like can emulate a wild out-of-body experience and can come back with a new perspective. Though That's trippy. This is maybe a little more extreme. In fact, you could say Tetsuo was shedding his human body to play with the powers of a god. I wish I could shed out of my body. But in this case, Tetsuo going full out of body meant becoming a mound of raw, ever-expanding energy. Which almost nuked Tokyo all over again. And those explosions are not normal. I would know. Top scientists in both the manga and animated versions describe these explosions as births of a new universe. Given so who, who's the protagonist in this damn class, story? Tetsu who was beating this nigga Tetsu? Tetsu, this nigga look. A big bang. You know the thing that started our whole. Yeah, universe. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, Tetsu got this, bro. I'm switching. I'm switching. Magneto, bro. I fuck with you, bro. But nah, this Tetsu nigga. Nah, this is. Bro, this dude is doing a big bang move, like a nah. He ascended time space to become god of a new universe. Nah. Kind of worth it, right? And yet, Canada kept his empire up in his honor. Now is the great. You know what's crazy about this? Guess who made this nigga? Humans. I ain't gonna lie, we really trash for real. We really trash for real, bro. Like we really make our own destruction. It's just crazy. Nah, but nah, bro. It would be, it would be humans that be making their own destruction for real, bro. Like, that's not crazy. We really can't just like chill no more. Like, like we can't just chill, coexist, live. You feel me? Yeah, that Tetsu, that big head Tetsu dude look OP, bro. That big head Tetsu dude look OP. I, I got Tetsu. I, I, I'm, I'm switching. I'm switching up on Magneto. I'm sorry, this nigga Tetsu doing big bangs and shit. Nah. Nah. Wrong country, Grandpa. You're an Akira turf now. <laughs> Wrong country is crazy. Man, you, I'm not letting him talk to me like that. You're dead meat. Weave. Man, you throw that shit right back. Impudent child. The hell are you calling child? I make the rules around here. Easy. Throw that shit back. Okay, revamp that shit. Okay. See, the problem with this thing is, bro, this nigga can control everything. Magneto can only throw, like, metal shit. Well, like a... Damn. Okay, good hit. He's gonna reform that shit right back into a new arm. He's gonna reform that shit. Yeah, damn. Man, you fight that shit off, bro. Your history, scumbag. Damn. Damn, 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 damn. I don't like he boxing. Oh, 
Okay, oh shit! I thought, bro, get, you, get it licking, Magneto. That's badass. I got that. That's badass. That's badass. That's badass. Damn, like that, Magneto? Oh, shit! I believe I've had enough tantrums to last a lifetime. Oh! Oh, here comes the yeah, here comes the transformation shit. Mickey Mouse, Mickey Mouse transformation. Whoa, no, nah, that's nah. Really, is a Mickey Mouse transformation, bro. Like like a final final move and shit. Angle of Magneto. Did he just take the magnets out of blood? Is that what that nigga just did? Yep, yeah, here come the Big Bang. Yep. Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. Oh, ain't no way! Magneto can do that? He can do that? So you telling me this nigga Magneto just contained a big bane level explosion with magnets? The f the fuck? Hang on, they gotta explain this. Nah, that's crazy. Thank you. This nigga had a big bane level explosion and Magneto just contained that shit. Nah. Nah, I switched up on my boy. What the fuck? What what could Magneto do that? Bro, explain this, bro. Bro, how did Magneto? How did what? Okay, stronger, faster, tougher. Okay, inferior healing option. Tesla could eventually grow more powerful, though his application has less over exerted receiving far less combat. Okay, true. Okay. Our abilities certainly gave Magneto pause, but the master of magnetism had greater control over his foe. The numbers don't lie. Tetsuo cratering the moon was insane, but Magneto punched Iron Man with the force of the sun. And while Tetsuo... Man! So force of the sun? Uh. All the way to the moon, Magneto could move across galaxies. Against Tetsuo in his human form, Magneto obviously held a sizable advantage in power and speed. Bro, well, tell me how he contained the Big Bang, bro. That's all I'm worried about. How did this nigga contain a Big Bang level explosion? GG, right? Yes, but Magneto had similar skills. There are very few substances on Earth that lack any metallic or magnetic component. And Magneto is very creative with his powers. Which he could use to predict Tetsuo's teleportation and even shut down his telekinesis. And his scraps with Xavier prove he could handle Tetsuo's messing with Given that Tetsuo was put out of commission after attempting to read a cure his mind, it's lucky that with Magneto's greater aurora abilities. Bro. His head. So, 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 Magneto so this nigga, this nigga Magneto controlling metals is basically like the greatest power you could have. Cause like but apparently Tetsuo everything has metal in it, huh? Power came into That's play. crazy. Especially given how the I ain't gonna lie. That boy Magneto smart. I, I, I said that was switched Although up. I said that was switched up. That's my, bad, That's my bad, Magneto. That's my bad. That's my bad. That's on me. In truth, the That's me. Bang was a sudden expansion of matter on a universal scale. Whereas Tetsuo's explosions are more akin to nuclear blasts. Clearly intentional given the post-war symbolism of the Akira story. The whole creating an alternate universe bit wasn't even part of the original material, so we can't exactly call it canon. But let's just say the comparison wasn't superfluous. Let's say Tetsuo did in fact cause a Big Bang capable of creating or destroying an entire universe, alternate or otherwise. Okay, talk to me. Magneto had the talk to, me. to stop that too. Helmet Head could overpower Hercules, who was strong enough to hold up the skies of Olympus, which is literally heaven and an alternate. Oh no, man. Comic had a Hercules universe. fighting Magneto. This doesn't necessarily mean Magneto Comic can was that, bro? Destroy a universe with the snap of his fingers, but it does prove he can match a similar level of power. And context is everything. 
Tetsuo's Big Bang eruption specifically exhibited proton collapse, meaning its atomic structure was primarily an unstable mess of neutrons and electrons. And Magneto has detected and commanded unstable electrons before. This means Magneto had every means available to take control over this Big Bang. I mean, and I thought he could just move some metal around. That's what I thought too. Posed by some of the greatest prophets of our time, fucking magnets. How do they? Magnets, bro. Magneto's That's crazy, bro. Imagine control over all things magnetism triumphed in the end. Tetsuo pushed. Man, and I don't know, bro. That's kind of Mickey Mouse. I don't know, bro. The winner is Magneto. I don't know, bro. You you telling me? You telling me this man went from controlling all metals and shit? Like I ain't, he didn't do this in the movies. I'm telling you, bro. It's only the comics, bro. I'm telling you, it's only the comics when they just be pulling out Thank some bullshit. Like, if you'd like to this man Magneto can contain a big bang level explosion. Really, really bro. Hope you like the next one. Really, man. I don't know. Who who, who next? Who next? Hercules. Is that Hercules? Hercules versus Sun Won Kung. Was that a monkey? I don't, I don't even know, bro. I don't even know. I ain't gonna lie. I feel like Tetsuo, Tetsuo got cheated. But, hey, man. Tetsuo, thank you, Magneto, for putting it in. This everything I did was pretty emotional. Much more emotional than on it. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was pretty emotional, I guess. That felt like a mercy kill. Magneto could easily have been brutal with that kill. In a different life, I could see Magneto teaching Tetsuo how to control his brows in there. Okay. Okay, best music is crazy. The, the, I wouldn't say best music. That uh, Thanos and Dark Side shit was 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 fire. But hey, bro, I ain't gonna lie. I switched up on my boy. That was my bad, Magneto. I, I did not mean to switch up on you. I, I I had you in the first half, and then I switched. And I I ain't gonna lie. It's, it's my bad. It's my bad, G. My bad. I ain't gonna lie. I want metal powers now. <laughs> metal powers is crazy. What the fuck?